Hello everybody, and welcome to The Stanley Parable. Now I've seen this being played on YouTube by other people, and I wanted to give it a shot because it looks kind of funny, and it's a narrative interactive uh, title. So, uh, let me change this up real quick, because it is kind of wild right now. All right, let's begin. Mm, I got something in my eye. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll leave. Oop. Nope. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Classy. Who farted? I'll do what I want to. Ooh. Oh. Shut off on me. Oh. 4.30. I like work, just not my boss. Some classy mugs here. Classy mugs. Like, I hate Mondays. And then I think this guy was fired. Poor fella. Filing for me? Gino, where's my files? I need to access. No. I can't go back in my office. Okay. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the <laughs> office, but it didn't make a single difference. I think it did. Nor like did it advance the story in any way. Oh, well, sorry. Guess I'll go. This way, maybe. What's this? Nope. Go this way. Oh, shut off me again. Where, oh, where am I going? Ow! Oh. People leaving their office, I'll turn the computers off. Ooh, how do I get in there? Go in there. Let me in there. No. 
Let me in there. Let me in there. But I want it in there. Alright. Some of them broke the door. Sorry. Ugh, I'm not tired. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But I want to go to the one on the right. I'm right-handed. I'm going to do it this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I don't care. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hmm. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. That is. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yep. I really like this place. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected <laughs> poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Could be. I haven't taken a shower in three days. <laughs> Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Nope. Ooh, pretty picture. Those are some weird lights. Does that actually turn? Ah. Oh, they didn't spare any detail on this one. Guess I'll go through here. I don't know. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. But this room. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Drafting! This is what I do. I wanna... I, I know how to do this. Alright, do not lie! If you're lying right now, stop it! Just, just stop it! Ooh. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. We'll cause death. Penalty for me to use cargo lift thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift five thousand dollars. You know what that means. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has yeah. been about nothing but what? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Is it? Stanley walked through the red door. Is it? Mm. But I like blue. Blue is my favorite color. I, I, I really do, do like blue. I'm going to go this one. Uh -huh. Okay. Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. The pen is blue. I still don't think we're communicating Ooh. properly. Stanley walked through the red door. But what's in it for me? I mean, 
Red's red, but blue. I like blue. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? I Do you not think I put good. a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Yeah, yeah. There we go. A third <sighs> option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Does. Go ahead, that Stanley. It? Take it for a spin. Well, now, now I want to go for this one. Now you want me to give me that option. I want this option. But it's the door. It's wooden. And it has a porthole in it for looking at? And what's that? Partially finished walls. Ooh, buttons. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. Mm -hmm. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even okay. try. Here, Something based weird. on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, the Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Good old Nelly is offline. Oh. Two seconds. Did you know that 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. There's the best three players. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others to improve your Stanley Parable career. I am last. Awards won. But this one. Now, would Whoa. you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking no. through doors? No. Feel Again, you give me a lot. Honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've Ooh. been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Nope. Perfect. Let me boot it up. Yeah. <gasps> In this game, oh, no. the baby crawls left. No, no, no. It's danger. No. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's don't a very do it. meaningful game. The baby. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But, but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. The baby! Uh, uh. <laughs> I can stop it. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah, oh, you're, oh, you, you're making some nasty noises over there, baby. Oh, got close that time. Oh, 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 Bye, baby. You heartless bastard. Oh, there. Did you do it because you hate so babies sad. or purely to spite me? 
Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. More buttons. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Aww. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. I wonder what it's gonna be this time. <gasps> well, Sammy, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. Oh, a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Yeah. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. It's the door. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Oh, I play now. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Yes. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Come yeah, along, diamonds. Stanley. We have to go mining. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. And the music! Oh, this is great. It's fantastic. Oh, everything... Uh, I want to play it. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. There's coal. I want some coal. I want to play it. Can you play it with... Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Ooh, spider. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh, oh I heard a zomza. Oh, it was so cool. What now? <laughs> yes! Portal! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, stuff. it's inspired. Uh, I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Yeah. Oh, I love Portal. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your fortes. I have played these games. I know exactly what Genius. to do. Genius. Yeah. No, actually, what? you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. What? And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. I want to go see which it. is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. No. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't Bring need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think <laughs> I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Bye, fella. Hey everybody, and thank you for watching my first playthrough of The Stanley Parable. Now, I picked this game up on Steam when it came up on sale, 
and everybody's been playing it and I wanted to see what it was all about because it seemed pretty funny. Now, if you want to go check that out, go to Steam and download it yourself. Or you can just go to my, my YouTube channel and you can check out some other videos that I've done. And once again, thanks for watching.